congratulations on this performance. In both Malcolm and Marie and Euphoria, you portray women with control issues. Mm -hmm. So how important is control to you? And do you feel personally in control? These are great questions. Um, um, yeah, I feel like with Rue, she has a lack of control. Um, and I think Rue is in a separate part of her kind of um, sobriety journey than Marie, who per se feels like she's like maybe a little bit on the other side of, 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 her, of her journey. Um, that is still a journey, um, but she feels, I think maybe for the same reason that Rue has, feels like she has no control. She feels the need to over control everything. Um, and so it's really interesting because I, I can relate to that uh, for sure. I, I mean, I've been, I've been called controlling. I used to get in trouble. Um, well, I didn't really get in trouble cause I was kind of a goody two shoes in school, but I would get the note in school that I was like, I was bossy because when I would do a group project, I would take it over because I just didn't want anybody to mess it up. So I would tell everybody what to do. You do this, you make sure you do that. Like I was always just like trying to make sure everything was in control because I wanted like the best outcome. Um, so yes, that is in my nature. Maybe it's because I'm a Virgo. I don't know. Um, but that is very much a relatable uh, thing for me. <laughs> The other sentence that really struck me was when she goes out into the garden, she says, I didn't grow up with a garden. I'm sure you did. But what was the secret place that you used to go to, maybe as a kid or even now, to escape? Right. Um, yeah, she, she says, yeah, I didn't grow up with a backyard and the novelty hasn't worn off yet, which I love that as a reasoning for peeing outside. Um, but... Um, for me, huh, I'm trying to say, you know, honestly, it was probably uh, like, like most kids, my imagination, you know, I don't think it was a specific place. Um, I would do that thing because <clears throat> I am very grateful. I have two parents who are educators and they pretty much provided everything I could have needed with their very humble, you know, um, earnings. But I didn't know that there was any issue. I was having a great time. My, my parents provided very well for me. Um, but in my room, I would, uh, I would uh, just kind of make up these scenarios. Like I was always acting, you know, I was, you know, putting on full productions for my parents in the living room, or I was in my room just pretending to be, I would make up a character and I would totally live it out. And you couldn't tell me that my, my room was not this thing that I saw in my head. It was, you know, it was a stage, it was a apartment, it was a this, it was a that, like I was on location in my, in my bedroom, you know? So um, I've always been kind of, that's always kind of been my escape, I think in a lot of ways and still is, which I think is why I love acting. I get to fall into these different people. The scene of you picking up shoes. Mm -hmm. And I know that you have your own uh, clothing line coming out, but what I want to ask you is when you get home, do you drop everything on the floor or do you pick it up? <laughs> drop everything on the floor. And I will say that those shoes, because we were all like kind of doing four different, four or five different jobs at once, because we were kind of doing this with our own money and with our own, whatever, those are my shoes that I brought from home and I'm like chucking them. And I made sure I put a blanket on the ground so I didn't mess them up. Cause like, those are my shoes. I don't want to mess them up. Okay, great. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> I do that too. One third of this film, you're in your underwear. So you are emotionally and physically exposed. What did that do to you? That is, a, I love that you said that because um, that was actually um, a choice that I, that I made. Um, There's a part where Sam, you know, he kind of came up to me, he was like, Z, you don't want to put on like something? Cause I feel like people might be, and I was like, no, no, no. I want her to kind of fight without having this armor. You know, I think it, it made it a little bit more difficult on me as an actress, you know, to have to like command this, like, this, you know, uh, with uh, this authority and this power without having any help, you know, it was just me and my like gangly little body. Um, so I had to be very like present and aware of everything that my body was doing, um, which I thought was like an extra challenge. And I had to be stripped back and had nothing else to kind of rely on and just do it on my own, you know, she was like, she's naked in a sense, you know, um, and that's like a very vulnerable place to be um, and to work from that and find power in that vulnerability, I think is a really 
can be tough, but also really, really exciting. We spoke to Tom Holland about Spider-Man, and I know you have Dune coming out, and you've got this character, and it seems like each one of them are three totally different characters. Can you talk a little bit about what you relate to each one of them, please? Right, of course. Um, well, I love this idea of being able to play different ages and at almost different points in my life or different facets of my being. I think each character kind of represents you know, you find a commonality with all of them, even if they're different from you, you kind of find something that feels like yourself. Um, MJ kind of speaks to the more, um, my more quirky side, my side that's a little bit more um, maybe to myself and reserved and, um, um, and observant and my more intellectual side. And then um, you know, the Dune character, although people haven't seen that, whatever, kind of speaks to another strength that I feel like the character kind of brings out of me even. Um, and then Marie kind of represents this, like, I think this painful power, right? That, that sometimes in um, our darkest parts of ourself, there is also this beautiful power and this beautiful strength in it too. So I don't know, I connect to so many different parts of all these different people. And we'll speak to you soon. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much.